Hello students, welcome to another science online class. Our topic for today is chemical bonding. According to John Dalton, atomos or atom is the smallest unit of matter that there will be a point that you will not be able to divide further this particle. So the word indivisible is coined in the terminology atom or atomos. So we have here a helium atom that which composed of electrons, protons, and neutrons. We say electron shells, okay? So in understanding the term electron shells, we need to understand first the fundamental terminologies. First, the atomic number of a certain element is always equivalent to the number of electrons uh, if, it's, uh, if the charge is neutral. Second, electrons vary in the amount of energy they possess and they occur at certain energy levels or electron shells. Third, electron shells determine how an atom behaves when it encounters other atoms because Electrons are part of the atom which be located in the outermost part of the atom. So, electrons are subjected to interaction to other atoms. Electrons are placed in shells according to rules. So, the first shell can hold up to two electrons only. And each shell after the first shell thereafter can hold up to eight electrons. So, that is the rule in putting electrons in specific electron shells. Remember, the first shell can hold up to two electrons only, while the second shell up to the nth shell can hold up to eight electrons. So, we have what we call the octet rule. So, when we say octet rule, Atoms tend to gain, lose, or share electrons so as to have eight electrons. So each elements have certain number of ele electrons, and some of the elements or atoms requires a number of electrons to become stable. Stability can acquire if the outermost layer is complete by eight electrons. So one okay hydrogen has atomic number of one so it it requires another electron to become stable now let's go to carbon since carbon has atomic number of six two electrons is in the first shell and the remaining four electrons are located on the outermost part of the of the atom so how many electrons does the carbon requires so it requires to gain four electrons to become stable now nitrogen has five electrons on its uh, outermost shell so how many electrons does the nitrogen requires okay three electrons to become stable now oxygen has atomic number of eight so, two of those are located on the first shell and the rest is in the second shell. So, in the second shell, we have six electrons. How many electrons does oxygen require? Two electrons. So, why are electrons important? Elements have different electron configurations. So, different electron configurations mean different levels of bonding. So, Elements that can be found or atoms can be found in our periodic table as different electron configuration. We have what we call electron dot structure. So, symbols of atoms which dots to represent the valence shell electrons. So, when you say valence, this is the outermost electron of an atom. Okay? So, since hydrogen has one, the electron dot structure of hydrogen is in this manner. 